Welcome to the Chat Cafe Junior, where real students talk about real issues. I'm Sean. And I'm Abby. And today we have Claire, Gia, Zoe, Ace, and Aislinn. And we are all from Rogers Forge Elementary. Today we are talking about electronics in schools and fun activities. That is exciting. Let's get started. Great. Here's the first question. Should elementary students be allowed to use their devices during recess? In recess, there's not like a lot of stuff you can do because like outside you can run around and then inside you like can't run around because of the desk. So I think there should be devices. Um, I think there should be devices because I know that we have like a lot of good like programs that we can learn on during recess. So yeah. I think we should be allowed to use devices but only for like certain programs like reading or if you maybe you want to work on makeup work during indoor recess yeah, you yeah. could use if you need to use your device for yeah, that that'd be really fair yeah. like, well, like yeah. you should like have devices and to use at recess because what if you're bored and you're you don't have anything to do mm -hmm. maybe they should block nitro type because um people do get on it through edu type in yeah. but like it's not actually part like they have to go on to like a different website kind of like not a website but like they have to sign in and put like their name a like, username yeah. and they play against like other people and I and I thought that that was a school rule that you can't like talk to people online pretty much it's almost I like mean, that it is like if we're talking to each other I don't find it like that bad but like yeah. you don't cause there are some people on there that like are from different schools which we're not supposed to be talking to so yeah should students be allowed to have phones in school I say no, no. Because, because they could like search up their answers and then it will just give them like an A, but that's kind of cheating. So I think there should be no school. Yeah, and phones at school, they don't have like any restrictions. Like the yeah. devices we have at school, we have restricted websites, but phones you can just yeah. do anything on it yeah. pretty yeah, the much. Teachers can just tell your parents yeah. you're, you're, you have to put restrictions. Like they, the parents probably would listen, but some parents just like. You can't or force them to. Or the parents put like screen time on their kids' phone, like if they have unlimited, like say an hour or two, yeah, unlimited day data. And like some, like our school, we, we don't really have that much a good like internet no. connection. So like I on our phones. I mean, I don't think we can like take them out at school, but mm -hmm. I think it's okay if we have them in our backpacks, like text our parent but, like, like after school. If they're or... in our backpack, sometimes like people set like timers. On their phones. Yeah, they're, they're sometimes also have notifications probably. Yeah. 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 yeah, sometimes you can get like callers yeah. and then it like disrupts the cat yeah, the I class so like you wanna like turn the um, ringer I off. Yeah, yeah I put my phone like in my backpack but I turn it off and I turn the ringer off so that if like a random caller, like a spam caller comes through, you can't hear it, it's just like vibrating a little bit since the ringer will be off. Yeah, and you like watches that, like so. these. A lot of kids have them. Yeah, um, gizmos. Yeah, but like strangers can't call. You only um, p the people that your parents allow you can call. Yeah, but sometimes kids in our class are wearing those, and they get people distracted. yeah they'll yeah. get distracted because there's like some games on them sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. I would yeah. say as long as they're er like everything's turned off and it's in your backpack mm -hmm. in a way that you 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 can't hear it. It can't bother you during the school day, and you're not allowed to take it off yeah. out until you're like out of school or off school grounds, oh, that's yeah. fair. When I yeah. take it out and I see it, like sometimes I'll see that I have a missed call from like a random number and I think like good that I have it on ringer because if my class heard that, I would probably get in trouble for not having it on silent. Like yeah. one time a phone actually fell out of someone else's backpack and the teacher went into the closet for a minute and said like whose phone is this? And she wasn't mad, but if someone was calling or something and that's why she saw it, they would probably be in trouble. So, do any of you have brothers or sisters in middle school? I do. Yes. No. Yes. I do. I do. What do they say about the activities and clubs to, clubs to join? I know that like my brother does this like ski club thing, oh, yeah. and it sounds really interesting. Mm -hmm. And I know like you can do like sports with your school. I know like in elementary school we don't have like sports with our school but like you can play for like sports teams for yeah you can play for yeah. like the for, like, Dumbarton team my or, like, I play Dumbarton. there's also like a cross country team where they run around like the neighborhood 
and I see them running by my house sometimes. Yeah, me too. My sister, yeah. like, there's pride time, like, if oh, there's, yeah. like, half days or, like, there's no days, if there's days off, and, like, there's, like, different activities. You could do, like, cooking, you could do nails and hair, you could do sports, you could do, like, yoga and all that stuff. So what's your favorite extracurricular activity that you do? Look at school. Um, just like extracurricular, like out of school or a club at school. I um, do um, soccer and basketball and cross, and I like playing them. Um, probably gymnastics for I me. I think it's probably swimming. I swim four times a week for <laughs> swim team. Um, I don't do it anymore, but I used to do a aerial yoga class where we got in like, it's called a hammock, but it's basically a big long loop of fabric and it's really fun and relaxing. Well, I don't really do anything because like I'm pretty much I, I don't really have time to go and do other things at home. Overall the thing that I do the most is I just hang out with friends like after school. I'll just go to someone's house or something or like we'll go to Starbucks or something. I don't live like near my school, so I, like on my street I have my best friend that like I play soccer and all my sports with, and like we just go outside, play, ride bikes, play with her like puppy, and go like down to the creek. Do you feel overwhelmed with homework, playtime, and activities? I kind of feel overwhelmed with homework because we get like a little, a lot of homework because like in my math class we had math like mostly every every like day. Yes, yeah, same. And it's just, I'm, I struggle in math pretty much, oh, like a good amount. I struggle in math a good amount. So it just gets a little bit overwhelming, but um, writing's pretty easy for the homework because it's just like spelling menu and it's almost like, almost kind of fun sometimes. Yeah. Um, so yeah. for like, the period yeah. one math class, we get a lot of homework, but yeah, I there's usually like paper that you can write on in a math there's homework study like on Pearson and there's like the same amount of questions but I like I like to do homework online because me too then you don't have to do like all that work sometimes yeah. I feel I overwhelmed like, with homework because of like social studies sometimes we don't Some, finish yeah. and we have to do that work Some. that we didn't finish for homework mm -hmm. so um, well we're all out of time so thanks for watching this special episode of chat cafe Thank you, Rogers Forge Elementary School, for participating in Chat Cafe Junior.